are you looking to start a career with the NHS and you don't even know where to start from? NHS is National Health Services. It is the pinnacle of healthcare excellence in the UK and being among a reputable organization will boost your career to the next level because with the NHS, you have varieties of ways to grow. You can start from one small level, band two or band three, and before you know, in the space of few years, you can go as far as band eight. So in today's video, I am here to give you all info you need to get a job with the NHS, everything you need to do step-by-step -step guide on how to get a job with the NHS. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Preshi Gold. On this channel, I share info about UK, life in the UK, skincare, motherhood, beauty, and many more. Please go ahead and hit on the bell notification so as to always be the first to get notified whenever I post a new video on this channel. And without saying so much, let's dive straight into today's video. This is a disclaimer post, guys. All the infos I'm sharing here are based on what I have experienced. So I am not part of any recruitment agency that will ask for fund. And you guys can see that I do my research before I post any video on this channel. First of all, NHS stands for um, National Health Service. It is the pinnacle of healthcare excellence in the UK that provides high quality, compassionate care for the community. And with the NHS, we have varieties of job roles ranging from nursing and midwifery, health science services, support services, administrative services, medical and dental emergency services, allied health professional personal social services directors volunteers and apprenticeship and guys working with the nhs i've told you earlier it's going to give you space to grow even from a band two to band three and you can jump from one role to the other just make sure that your manager is aware that you're changing roles within the nhs trust first of all what are you doing to look for a job with the nhs the first thing you should do is to attend job or career fair with the nhs guys that is where you are going to get first-hand information and then they're going to tell you how to apply for jobs how to write your supporting information and also how to build your cv princess trust is one of them they help you with your cv and how to get on board with the nhs so everything you need to get on board with the NHS, uh, you're going to be taught there. And all current vacancies available with the NHS are going to be advertised at the job fair. And that's that for that one. The next thing I'll be talking about is where are you applying for your NHS job? There's a particular place to apply for NHS job and to get first-hand job whenever it comes out. It is called Track. I'm going to be putting the link down in the description box below. Track is the leading online recruitment management system and this is where you find the first hand vacancies that are currently available with the nhs also sponsorship if you're currently looking for sponsorship in the uk guys nhs are one of the companies that give genuine sponsorship nhs is one of the a potential company in the uk that can never give you a fake cos you have to meet the minimum salary threshold before they can sponsor you i think if you're working in the uk under health and care visa, you have to meet the minimum salary threshold, which is about £23,200 per year. I think every trust has different salary threshold you, you need to meet before they can offer you sponsorship with the NHS. So that is that for the sponsorship. The next thing I'm talking about now is supporting information. When you are applying for job on NHS website or track, one of the catchment area that the recruiter are looking for is your supporting information. Supporting information is very, very vital. Your supporting information is a place where you are going to sell yourself. And every info you need to pass your supporting information is on the job overview. So read the job overview, match your supporting statement with whatsoever is on the job overview. Guys, that is a trick to get a job with the NHS. It's the supporting info. If your supporting info is outstanding, automatically you are going to be 
invited for interview tell them your skills whatsoever you have or the certification you have write it there in the job overview they have additional links where you can read more details about the particular role you're applying for make sure you click on those links and read everything one thing about nhs track that i love is the fact that every info you have filled are saved so when you're applying for subsequent jobs you can just use an already existing um templates of your cv or whatsoever it is or you save your cv on track itself in that way you will need to start afresh automatically everything is going to be pre-filled you just need to confirm some things and follow up with the necessary infos that are required let me just show you guys few tips to answering you and a few tips to nhs interview is read your overview know nhs six core values and also know the nhs trust you're applying for know their mission vision and also know their trust value so know the nhs six values know the trust value mission and also read your overview and when you're answering questions give them scenario answers where you have worked before chip in your experiences chip in everything you have done just chip it into your answers and be confident interview with the nhs is not hard so guys if you need help writing your supporting statement or supporting info you can go ahead and send me a message on the comment section and i will attend to it if this video has helped you in any way or if you get in if you get follow on this channel please go ahead and say thank you and that way you can be able to get first-hand information from me if you are still yet to subscribe to my channel please go ahead and hit on the bell notification so as to always be the first to get notified whenever i post a new video on this channel and guys don't forget to like comment and share and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye